Hey guys, it's Jeremy with Jam Aero Service and Repair again. I'm going to take you guys through purging the oil system on a 912 series Rotax aircraft engine today. The tools you're going to need are a pressure regulator, a Dash 8 GIC cap, a 7 8 wrench, a 19 millimeter wrench for backing up the 7 8 fitting, a 5 millimeter Allen wrench, a feeler gauge that can check 0.5 millimeters, and a calibrated torque wrench. You will also need a 5 8 spark plug socket or an 18 millimeter spark plug socket, depending on what style of spark plug you're using. This engine just had the oil lines replaced, so now we need to purge the oil system to make sure that there's no air that's been ingested. I just installed a new oil filter that I pre-filled. The newest version of the filters can in fact be filled uh, before being installed. The oil tank was removed and cleaned and it has since been reinstalled and I've added three liters of AeroShell Sport Plus 4. The next step is I'm taking the oil return line that comes down here from the bottom of the crankcase and we're draining it into a bucket. And then we're taking our Dash 8 JIC cap and we're going to cap the oil tank. The reason that we're doing this is we're gonna be taking our regulator and attaching it to the vent line on our oil tank. And what that's gonna do is we're gonna apply 10 PSI of pressure and it's gonna push down on the oil in the tank and put pressure on the oil so that it comes up through the feed line and works its way through the oil system by going into the oil cooler and then out of the oil cooler up in to the oil pump. We have all four of our uh, top spark plugs removed so that we can turn the engine over easily by hand. We've capped off the tank. We've made sure that the feed fitting that says out of the tank is nice and tight. And we've connected our regulator that we're gonna set for 10 PSI. I usually use 10. They say not to exceed 14.5 PSI, and I don't think five is quite enough, so 10 is kind of right in the middle of the road there. And then we have our return line, of course, going down into the bucket. Um, the idea is we're gonna be turning on the regulator, and it's gonna be applying pressure to our tank. Uh, we're gonna get a little bit of leakage coming out of the cap, but that's okay because there's enough volume to uh, push down on the oil. And then we're gonna come over here to the propeller and we're gonna spin the propeller over by hand. Um, usually about 75 rotations. I do 100 just to make sure that the system's purged. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and check the lifters and make sure that we don't see any sort of air trapped inside of them. After about 100 turns, we got oil returning from the bottom of the crankcase down into our drain bucket. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spin the prop about another 30 rotations just to make sure that all that air is out of there. Now that we've purged the oil system, we wanna go ahead and put the number one cylinder on top dead center and remove the valve cover. And then we're gonna take a rubber mallet. And what I like to do is you put it right here on the bottom of the rocker arm and you wanna put 15 pounds of pressure pushing down and you wanna maintain that pressure for three seconds. After you've applied the pressure for three seconds, you wanna take your feeler gauge. This one's just a hair over 0.5 millimeters. It's 0.508. We're gonna come in here 
and you want to make sure that you can't get the feeler gauge to go in between the rocker arm and the top of the valve stem. And assuming it won't fit, you're good to go. And you just want to do that same procedure for the remaining three cylinders. Make sure and check all eight valves. Now that we've verified that there's no air in our hydraulic valve tappets, we're going to want to reinstall our valve covers. We're going to want to put a drop of Loctite 243 right on the threads. You just need a drop, not too much. And you want to use 243 because it's the oil resistant Loctite medium strength. And then you want to get your torque wrench and set it for 105 inch pounds. Okay, so we verified our lifters. We went ahead and installed our valve covers. The next step is to reinstall all the spark plugs on the top cylinders, making sure and using an approved Rotax spark plug paste. You're gonna to torque those to 20 Newton meters. Then you're gonna come over here. You're gonna remove your regulator on your vent line. You're gonna remove your dash eight cap. You're gonna hook your oil return line back up to the tank, making sure and tightening the fitting while also backing it up. And then you're gonna to wanna to come over and do your standard oil burping procedure where you spin the propeller over by hand, um, however many rotations it takes, usually about 10 or so. And you're gonna to wanna to return whatever oil is in the crankcase back up to the tank. And then after burping the engine, you're gonna to wanna to verify your oil level. Sometimes if you've only added three liters, you may have drained a little bit of that into the bucket and you may need to add another half of a liter or something to get it back into the proper spec. All right, guys, that's how you purge the oil system on a Rotax 9 Series aircraft engine. Uh, remember uh, to always make sure and reference the Rotax manuals whenever doing this kind of work. They're available free online at flyrotax.com. Um, and this particular procedure is actually in the 912 installation manual, section 79-00-00. And it actually lays out all the steps and the torque specs and some, maybe some details that we didn't go over. So make sure you guys are referencing that too. Um, but I hope this video helped. Uh, if it did, please leave a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys.